chapter 1 of 1 Corinthians, verse 9. God is faithful by whom you were called unto the fellowship of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord. So God is faithful. God is good. By whom we were called unto the fellowship of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord. We were called unto what? Unto a fellowship. Unto a gathering. Unto a family. We're a family. We're a body. A body has to work together. A family has to work together. And God has been a faithful God. He's been a good God to be able to call us into a family. That's wonderful because, uh, again, as I was saying from the beginning, when, when I left the world and the things of the world, uh, my refuge was the family, the Lord, the family, the gathering, the, the, the learning, <coughs> the blessings that I received, the blessings that I was able to give. And until today. Until today. So when I go to places and I see that this isn't happening or, 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 or a place where it really can't happen because there's not a church there or there's not a building, there's not a congregation, what I'm trying to say is that I feel very optimistic that by talking to that one person and maybe a friend or or or, or you know, feel very optimistic that something can happen there. That there's potential for a family to come up there. And, and, I, and I told this sister, I said, Sister, I said, talk to your friends. Talk to your family. I said, and God will give you a, 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 a group to be able to gather with. I feel very strong that that can happen because that's what God has called us to. A fellowship. And He will not leave us, you know, without this. He will not leave us alone. So each and every one of us, as we come together and as we have the privilege to be able to have a, a little group of gathering, we should to be strengthened. Brother Dale talked about with the children about, uh, about the devil and about how he's out to seek and how he's out to destroy and kill. We should all know that. We should all understand that. We have to shield ourselves. We have to guard ourselves with the Lord, with the Spirit of God. And brothers and sisters, one of the things that I like to tell the brethren is that it's not like in the times of Daniel when the Lord told Daniel to, to seal the books. But it's like in the times of John when he told him to open the books and to, to preach the Word of God. That Because why was it important to preach the Word of God? Why was it important to, to, to have fellowship and to... Uh, Read the Scriptures because He says, these are the last days. These are the last days. And so that's why it's important. And of course we see that in Revelation 1, 3 where it's talking about that. And then we see the other one in Daniel 12, 4 where He tells Daniel that it's not the time yet. But then He tells John, and until our time today, it is the last, they are the last days. And how can we know that these are the last days? It's merely by being children of God. It's merely by being having fellowship and coming together, studying the Word of God. This is how our eyes are open to see that we're living in the last times. Used to. I would say this about my grandfather and I would, you know, and many would say this about the elders of the church that, you know, it, it, it was just like, like, like perhaps a joke or something that they preached about the last days. Not understand it. But as we get into the Word of God, as we study the Word of God, we hear the Word of God, we come to see that the last days are here. Because of what we can see in our surroundings. And because of how the, the Holy Spirit of God, God just to understand us. So it's not like in the times when the Lord spoke to Daniel. It's like in the times when the Lord spoke to John. And until today, brothers and sisters, I just I wanted to share a few moments with you and Brother Dale asked me to go ahead and bring bring something. But this is the joy that I had. And I just want to thank you. I think that the church received to thank you in, in general and, and to wherever I go for your efforts, for your prayers, for your faithfulness in in 
to the Lord, whichever way it may be, that God calls you to be faithful. Because though you may be not be able to visit many places, but many of us are. And the work is going on. And the work is continuing. And I like to be able to tell my brethren different places that I go and encourage them about the churches, the different places, the congregations, and the blessings. And I'll have it in my heart to speak to others as I go to different places, different countries, about the blessing here in this place in Salem, West Virginia. So I thank you, brothers and sisters, for your attention. I thank you for, for all that you do, for your dedication, your devotion in, in the Lord. And I pray that uh, we would continue to be steadfast and feel good. Feel good and feel a good pride within yourselves, within ourselves as a church, that the work is being done. And that, you know, it's going forward. Feel confident that it is, and that God has used, is using some of us to be able to do this work. And I know that He will open more avenues as we see these last days, and as uh, this has uh, uh, given an initial, you know. So, thank you very much for, again, your your love and for your attention and for everything that uh, you all do for us, the hospitality and all. It's, it's so good. So, God bless you and be with you. Amen. Amen.